I'm Josh Ellsworth with Stalls TV in this CAD Works Live tutorial we're going to teach you about the combine feature in CAD Works Live. Uh, we have three different designs on the screen each of which uh, shows kind of a different case where we would want to leverage the uh, combine feature in order to combine uh, two distinct uh, design elements into one uh, creating one vector set of cut lines. Um, so all the art that we're working with was created within CADWorks Design Studio. It's all vector art already. Um, so we're ready to show you these, uh, these different instances. Um, so first we have the Brewer's text uh, for an athletic tail, which is independent of the Fair Chance text, which we would like to place over the tail. Um, rather than doing a black layer of film with a white layer on top, what we'd like to do is combine these together so we're actually going to uh, reverse weed out the individual letters in the production process and have the garment color um, show through. Um, so of course we could you know, send it straight to the cutter like this but really to get it uh, done right you should select both pieces, go up to the shaping command and click on combine and watch how this punches through. It won't look much different because there is a white background but if we go to the transparent background You can see now when I zoom in on this particular design that you're getting the transparency through which would show the garment uh, through once you cut this and heat apply it. Uh, let's show another example. Um, in this case we have the football clip art which we'd like to drop the individual player's number into. Um, and also uh, once again create garment show through. So I'm going to select both uh, distinct design elements by drawing a box around both. Go up to my shaping and click on combine and you'll notice the red will disappear. We'll punch through the helmet and if I zoom in on this one, you'll see once again the garment's going to show through. I'll just reverse weed the two and the five and this is one um, total design. Uh, sizing and moving as one now rather than two distinct elements. And for the last example we have a badge here that we're going to do something a little different. So rather than punching the text through and having to uh, weed out all these individual pieces of text, what we're looking to do is actually um, get a badge um, that's not two full layers of film. We want to combine the black layer with the gray layer uh, just to create an outline of the badge. Um, that way it's lighter weight on the garment, it's just a trace around this protect, serve, and honor uh, text. So again, select both pieces, go up to shaping. Um, in the case where it's already reading as one piece, in order to combine it, you'll first have to break it apart. So I'm going to break this one apart by color since we're working with a gray and a black layer. So now that it's two uh, distinct pieces, what I mean by that is I can move the black away from the gray. Uh, prior to that it would only move as one piece. I can position this back into place uh, just to make sure it's perfectly back in place. I'll draw a box around both of them, go up to my align command and center the middle of these two uh, designs. That way it's in perfect proportion with both still selected. I'll go up to shaping and combine and you'll see the black punch through the gray. And I get a perfect uh, shield outline. At that point I'm ready to um, drop my text back in the center and either cut my two color design or I can change this to the same shade of gray and have a single color design that's ready to cut and heat apply onto the shirt. This has been a CADWorks Live tutorial by Stalls TV. Thanks for watching.